What's up, everybody? This is FHRC Brony, Radio Controlling Cars, and today we are going to be talking about tires. Yes, tires. So this is the kind of tire that's currently on my 1995 Toyota 4Runner, and it's slightly big than stock because the stock ones are 15-inch rims. This one's 17-inch rims, and these are from a fourth-generation Toyota 4Runner. In this video, I'm only going to be discussing these numbers and letters and also the max load and the max pressure that's currently on your tires. Just keep in mind, these numbers and letters will be different on any tire that you buy for your car. So what do these numbers and letters mean? I'm gonna go ahead and try to go as simple as I can for you guys, so bear with me. The first number that you're looking at here on a tire is the tire width, and this is usually measured in millimeters. In my case, my car has 255 width tires, so that means I have 255 millimeter tires. So how do you find width of a tire? You just basically measure the tread area of the tire like this. The second number that you see on a tire is the aspect ratio. And this is usually measured as a percentage. In my case, my car's tire has a 70% aspect ratio. What does this mean to you? Well, first of all, there's a mathematical equation that you guys gotta go through in order to understand this, but I'm not gonna bore you out with that. To keep it straight and simple, if the number on the aspect ratio is higher, then the bigger the number, the taller the tire is. The smaller the number, the shorter the tire will be. In other words, in my case, my tire is 70% taller than it is wide. So I have a high profile tire. Now this number over here is measuring your wheel diameter. And this is usually measured in inches. Sorry, Europeans and other foreigners, we're going American over here. To better understand wheel diameter, let's just put it this way. My car uses 17 inch rims, so that's why my tire says the number 17 here. But basically, for other people, it might be different. So, the lower the number of the wheel diameter means that you have to get a smaller rim. If you have a larger number on the wheel diameter, then you might need to get bigger rims. For example, if the tire label says 15 on it, you put 15 inch rims on it. If the tire label says 20 on this side of the tire, then you would put 20 inch rims on it. Once again, the smaller the number, the smaller wheel that you need to put on the tire. The bigger the number, the larger the wheel will be on the tire. As you can see in this photo, a technician is measuring the wheel diameter on a Nissan Sentra or a Nissan Lucino based 200SX. Now this last number that you see on the tire is your load index, and this identifies how much weight that the tire can handle. If the load index is smaller, then the tire can support a small amount of weight. If the load index is bigger, then the tire can handle more weight. Now this chart doesn't actually mention my tire's load index, but you get the idea. The bigger the number, the more weight it, the tire can handle. The lower the number, the less weight the tire can handle. Pause this video if you need to take a look at this chart. Now we're done with the numbers for now. Let's talk about the letters on the tire. Now, this R you see here, is just basically talking about the construction type of your tire. In my case, the R means radial. Now, R-rated tires are usually the standard in the industry, but there are other tires out there that has a D or an F on it. But to keep it simple, this letter is basically telling you the construction type of your tire. Now, the last letter on the tire label is actually pretty much the easiest one to identify. This is just basically ta talking about your speed rating. So, since when you're driving down the road, the tire is actually generating heat due to rolling resistance and friction. Now, this letter is just telling you what is the top speed that the vehicle is safe under these tires to be driven on long periods of time. Now, keep in mind, a higher speed rated tire can actually handle heat better and provide better control during high speeds at longer period of time. In my case, the tires that are on my car are actually rated as an H. So that means I can actually drive all the way up to 130 miles an hour before these tires actually do give up. Now, with that being said, you still need to abide with the uh, laws and regulations. So you need to follow the speed limit. Unless if you guys live in Germany and you guys are traveling at high rate of speed at the Autobahn. Okay, I'm getting off subject here a little bit, but basically, 
the speed rating is just telling you what is the safe top speed that the vehicle can travel with the tires that are currently on at a long period of time. Now the speed rating on a tire is not actually labeled in alphabetical order as seen on this chart. Pause the video if you need to. Now earlier on in this video, I was actually talking about the load index of a tire. Now, the best way to actually look at the load index, the easiest way, is actually on your tire. Find the one that says max load, and in my case, my tire's load index is actually rated as a 112. So the max load on my tire is 1,120 kilograms or 2,469 pounds, that's weight. Now the label on the bottom that says max pressure, the one that says 300 kPa and 44 psi, this is basically how much the, the maximum pressure that the tire can actually handle. Now with that being said, you should never, and I mean never, fill up your tires with air at the maximum pressure at all. You should never do that. You should look at your owner's manual to see what is the most appropriate tire pressure to put on your tires. Or there's another yet easy way to actually find the appropriate tire pressure for your tires. Just look at the door jam and there you have it. I actually forgot to mention about this, but um, there are usually some tires that has a letter before the first number of the tire rating. And that letter is actually just referring to what kind of tire it uses. So basically, in this case, it has a letter P. And that means this tire actually indicates a passenger tire. There are some tires that says LT, which means light truck. And the other one that says ST, which means for special trailer. But not all tires will have the, um, the letter on next to the first number. So keep that in mind. So that is the basic idea of tires. Hopefully I made everything simple for you guys. And as always, I thank you guys for watching.